All right, pardon my stupid hat. I wasn't expecting to make a video, and in fact, I made two videos. That's kind of what I'm here to show you and tell you about. So I do a lot of behind the scenes, quick stuff, social stuff, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of those. But I've been using Instagram, well, I use it a lot, but now that I have a profile just for this type of stuff, sort of behind the scenes of all the audio and video stuff I do, I use it a bunch for that. And I just got in this lens, this tiny 40 millimeter Canon pancake. And it's really cool. Before I get a chance to produce a better looking video, uh, you know, on YouTube here or with a nice camera, this setup takes a lot more work and it's gotta be edited and all that stuff. I can do a decent job on Instagram stories to get you content in between the longer, more in-depth, better produced videos. So check out Instagram stories, get there quick, because this is gonna be gone. By the time you see this, it'll probably be gone. But what I'm going to do is put the whole thing right here. So let me show you that. It'll give you an idea of what I'm doing over there. And hopefully you'll come on over to instagram.com slash podcast helper, and you'll follow along because again, a lot of content in between the videos. All right, holiday season means sales and periodic new stuff. What do we have here? Hmm. Hey, it's a lens I don't need, but the price was so crazy. It's like 120 bucks or something. And after research, this looks like it's a pretty darn good lens. And look at the size. All right, all right, you talked me into it. Quick unboxing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Careful, careful. The lens cap wasn't attached, that's dangerous. Stick your lens, finger right on the lens, but there you go. 40 millimeter, little tiny focus ring, but you can be extremely compact with this. Here's the moment that always makes me nervous. Really inspecting the glass. Because I don't want to find a scratch and have to send it back. I think there is a fingerprint from me. I hope that's a fingerprint and nothing worse. First impressions is it feels good. It has a good weight. Uh, it's got a metal mount and it doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. This little tiny focus ring is plastic and probably cheap, but it's STM and should do good on autofocus. And you can see it's 40 millimeters and there's also a 24 millimeters. I'll tell you why I didn't get that one even though I would have preferred it. And it's f2.8, so a nice large aperture, as you can see right there, right through it. So why 40 millimeters instead of 24, especially on a crop sensor? The 24 is EFS, not EF. This covers a full frame sensor. EFS is crop sensor. I still would prefer it. But here's where it gets crazy, and one stupid reason I probably bought this lens is the EF and the MC11 Sigma adapter go on together, which then allows me to put it on a Sony. I wanna move. And one more thing to note, check that out, macro. Only a few inches away and you can focus on your subject. It's also macro. That's amazing. Pretty cool. All right, and there it is on my Canon 60D. Check this out. You can imagine this on a Sony mirrorless, even if it has an adapter. But even if you're on a Canon, look at that. Talk about travel friendly, mostly. And there it is through the live view. Check out that depth of field at f2.8. Pretty sweet. Can I turn the focus ring in real time here? Nope, you do have to switch it on the lens. Whoa, this is kind of tricky. Can you hear this? You might not be able to hear that. That's the STM motor, I'm assuming. So it makes a little noise when you manual focus. Eh, not a big deal. All right, that's my unexpected review, mini review of the Canon 40 millimeter F2.8. I should buy more lenses just to do Instagram story reviews. That's a lot of fun. Eh, maybe, good excuse.